The Central Bank of Nigeria initially in 2015 placed forex restriction on 43 commodities with the aim of reducing foreign exchange demand for products that could be locally produced. However, the Apex Bank recently lifted restrictions with the hope of unifying the forex market. The latest policy is not going down well with lawmakers at the Green Chamber. The decision of the CBN will greatly affect local production of items such as rice, cement, and palm oil, among others, as it will force local manufacturers to hold the short end of the stick, invariably leading to factory closure and ultimately eroding our capacity to build the country's local economy. The House, however, rejected an amendment to compel the CBN to halt the policy. To ask the governor of the central bank to suspend the execution on the lifting of the 43 items. With those in support of this motion should say aye. aye. Those against should say nay. Yeah. The nays have it. The House described the recent invasion of four commercial banks and police stations in Otukpo, Benue State by heavily armed gunmen as terrorist attacks that should not be taken lightly. The residents are currently living, feeling traumatized by last Friday's incident and are greatly feeling unsafe. What happened in Otukpo on Friday can only be imagined in a movie. But I differ to some extent that this attack was perpetrated by armed robbers. This is a terrorist attack. The Nigerian police force should be empowered and more so intelligent network as far as communication is concerned so that as the first attack happened, they can easily communicate to reinforce. Lawmakers at Tuesday's plenary passed the bill for an act to establish the Nigeria Medical Research Council as well as the bill for an act to amend the Federal Polytechnics Act and establish Federal Polytechnic Ranu Kanu State. From the National Assembly, Mitaire Ikben, NTA News.